Maz, how much did the, uh, the press you deployed on Gonzaga spark you guys? And it seemed like it totally disrupted their rhythm too. Got you back into it? Yeah, uh, it definitely, uh, you know, sparked something for uh, us to get that run going. Uh, you know, alongside, uh, you know, Deontay's insane performance there in the second half. Uh, you know, that, that really sparked our defense, um, really made us get down, get after it, and it showed that they were vulnerable in, a, in that situation. Their backs were kind of against the wall with that uh, press being so, uh, you know, effective. So uh, it was definitely the spark to uh, our run. Coach talked about you guys learning a lot of different things in Florida, and that was kind of the thing going into it. What do you feel like was maybe the biggest thing that you took away from those three games and learned about the group? Um, that, you know, I think, uh, you know, we can play with anybody in the country. Um, you know, I think Gonzaga is uh, one of the most balanced teams out there um, as far as size goes, uh, talent, uh, depth. Um, and I mean, if we could hang in there, be tied on the, on the rebounding battles with them uh, in Miami, um, that goes to show that, man, heart doesn't, I mean, uh, height doesn't determine your heart, you know, and, and we got heart, and, you know, we're big in that aspect, and, you know, we're willing to battle with whoever, and we can play with whoever. For either of you guys, just, uh, Coach was just talking about how physical uh, he expects Cincinnati to be. be uh, I think probably a little different opponent than what you guys have seen so far. Just how does that change your mindset and approach going into that game Thursday? Excuse me. Uh, oh. But uh, Coach was saying the third, uh, that uh, Cincinnati and Thursday will probably be a little more physical than what you've seen. Um, how does that affect your preparation and mindset going into that game? I mean, we're going to uh, prepare how we always do. You know, we're going to focus on us and what we have to do to be uh, successful as a team. And, um, you know, like we said, it's, it's, it's uh, hard over height. It doesn't matter how big the other team is, you know. Just as long as we go out there and we play our game, we play, we play a strong game, and we do what we have to do, we'll, we'll get the job done. Merle, coach said he isn't necessarily concerned about the foul trouble that you've gotten into, but maybe learning when to commit certain fouls. What are you kind of taking away from, from it in that aspect and learning to maybe make smarter fouls, I guess? Yeah, just, uh, just to not pick up, you know, ticky-tack fouls and fouls that, you know, that's not part of the play or really part of any of you know, the game. It's kind of avoiding those kind of fouls and um, just being solid on defense, you know. Picking when to go try to get an offensive board and whatnot. Yes. Seem like before you got tied, we say that's something you you kind of dealt with before. How much have you constantly been working on, uh, you know, avoiding foul trouble? Yeah, just um, I feel like last year, you know, I, I was in foul trouble last year, and it kind of hurt me. So I just kind of learning from last year and this, you know, the start of this year, just to you know, just avoid those dumb fouls. I know mean, you guys kind of dabbled with the press in the past, but now that it's truly a part of your defensive arsenal, how much more, um, how much more, I guess, uh, can you perform better as a, as a defense given that that's a big part of it? Um, you know, I think, uh, you know, in the second half, uh, Frisk and Zaga and a lot of the Miami game, uh, we really buckled down and showed what, showed what type of defensive team we could be. Uh, you know, and uh, I mean, I think we did it for the majority of the Miami game and had we done it versus uh, you know, Gonzaga, we wouldn't have been in such a big hole and, you know, maybe the outcome would have been different. So, I mean, I think the thing about growing on defense is just doing it for a full 40 minutes. Um, you know, that's when we really get a complete effort and find out who we truly are as a team. And I think that that's what se what will separate us uh, from the from the group. Yeah, it's going on the season. The guards are going to have to step up in rebounding. You've done a pretty good job at that. How do you think the team has done, at least the guards, in terms of the rebounding game? Um, I definitely think, uh, you know, we've, we've taken that as a re uh, major responsibility to help, you know, our bigs uh, get some rebounds because, I mean, it's a collective effort. A guy like myself, man, I, I don't think I averaged over two rebounds um, up until this year, um, you know, so I definitely was challenged by Coach Prome and the whole coaching staff that I needed to, you know, gut down because, I mean, there's no reason I, I couldn't average as many rebounds as I'm averaging right now other than the fact that I need to be more physical. Uh, you know, I'm stronger than, than a lot of guards out there, uh, you know, so it just comes down to, to people, you know, just, just crashing the glass. Monte doing a great job of being in that little free throw area. And Matt's mid and rebound. I mean, he averaged five last year, so he just continued to do that. So it's definitely a big part that we bought into and been challenged by, by the coaches. And as outside of the outside of the program going into this year, a lot of people, obviously, how you guys can replace the Yang. But you get to come back. Obviously, Monte comes back. Merle comes back. You guys brought back a lot of pieces to fill in how to replace George. Do you think this team is deeper than what you guys were last year? Um, yeah, I, I'd say that. Uh, you know, we have a solid eight-man rotation right now um, that we know we can turn to and rely on a bunch of different guys. 
And, uh, you know, you can't replace a player like George, man. He does so many things well, uh, you know, but we can look to, to fill that void. And uh, I think to this point, we've done that. Um, you know, we picked it up defensively. Um, I think we're rebounding better as a collective effort. And uh, like you said, man, we're, we're deep. You know, we're very deep in the sense where we can put in uh, guys when other guys are slack. And, um, you know, I, and I have no fear with uh, Donovan or Nick coming in, uh, you know, to hold my position down. Daryl Bowie's been playing great uh, when Merrill was in foul trouble and, and, and vice versa. So, you know, I definitely think the depth has helped us this year rather than uh, to, to what it was last year.